It's the Zillion Billion Dollar Question. Okay, Herb, here's your chance to win a zillion billion dollars. Are you ready? Yeah, actually, I'm kind of tired. That's great! What? Herb, this is for a zillion billion dollars. It's only money, right? I mean, what's more important? Your health? Your friends? Your spiritual well-being? The big city. Chapter one. Back in time. The big city. A hotbed of high tech, technological technology. There's technology for communication. Freddy, Freddy, can you hear me? Barely. There's some nut next to me screaming his head off. Technology for finance. <laughs> Even technology for personal hygiene. Hey, look! There's Jeep enjoying the convenience of a high-tech can opener. And when I say enjoying, I really mean having a miserable time. Gotta hurt! Meanwhile, back at the secret military organization's secret base, General Specific's brightening up the base with a little art. Hi! My name is Art! My! This place is brighter already! Well, what do you think? Private thoughts? I'd rather not say, sir. How about you, Major Exclamation? Great googly moogly! Enough making with the unveiled unveiling! I am having something far more unveilable, available for you to unveil! You are so weird, mad scientist! Angry! Ah. So, I have invented something that will guarantee be catching that sheep, a time machine. I already have one! See? The big hands on the six, and the little hands on the two! Not a watch, you imbeciliated general person! I am talking about a time-traveling machine that is enabling us to travel anywhere in time! If you can invent a time machine, why can't you invent a ray gun that works without a sheep? I am an artist, okay? Did anyone be telling Picasso how to be dancing? Okay, painting, whatever, you are getting my pointedness. Now I am ready to unveiling the time machine. We will be testing it by taking a short tripping three seconds into the futurenessnessness. And there. It worked! We're three seconds into the future. This is a one in a million machine. Actually, it is a two in a million machine. For reasons relevant only in Chapter 2, I, the plot device, will casually place this second machine right here. Whatever. So General Specific has traveled seconds into the future. And speaking of seconds, poor sheep won't get seconds of his sheep food because his high-tech can opener is still on a rampage. Sigh. What a beautiful sheep-free day. Oh no! Sheep's can opener has destroyed the wig of the woman who owns the poodle he loves. My beautiful stainless steel wig. Ruined. And I just had it moosed and welded. Yow! 
Meanwhile, back at the secret military organization, secret base... We have to use this time machine to go to the future! Then we can use futuristic spaceships, robots, shiny blinking buttons to capture that sheep! Why are you looking in my ear? To see if you are having a brain! Everyone is knowing we need to be going to the past so that we will be knowing exactly where Sheep is to be grabbing him. Plus, in the future, we will be having to wear awfully silly silver leisure suitings. Ech. But I like silver leisure suits. Who doesn't like a silver leisure suit? Speaking of leisure, Sheep has no time for leisure. He's too busy scurrying away from Lady Richardson. <laughs> If you're keeping score at home, that's Technology 3, Sheep Zero. Hold the phone! Sheep's escaping! Getting hit by that hover bus may have saved Sheep! Hooray! Bruised and beaten, Sheep wobbly and woozily wobbles to the first building he sees. Just off screen. To the future! Past! Future! Past! Future! Past! Maybe since Sheep is unconscious right in front of us, we should catch him in the present. Sweet Jiggle and Jehoshaphat! Oh no! Has Sheep finally been caught? Will Lady Richardson ever be able to wear her stainless steel wig again? And what about those time machines we wasted so much time talking about? Find out the mind-bending answers to all these kooky questions in the exciting, fantastically fantastic Chapter 2! It was many shears ago! Hey, kid! You need a new cool drink! I, I do? Something new, something cool, something with shrimp. With what? Shrimpola Cola. Yes, cola and shrimp. Two tasty tastes that taste tasty together. Really? I don't know. Ask Shrimpy, the shrimp that wraps. Aw, oh, take it from me. Don't be a wimp. Drink the cola with the taste of shrimp. Waka chaka, ooh, ooh, ba 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 ba, yeah, yeah. Shrimp sure has some fat beats. I want some of that shrimp bola cola. <laughs> what do you think, kid? My brain is burning! That's the 12 week old sun dried shrimp. Oh, shrimp bola cola, now it's your turn. <laughs> Buy a can and let your brain burn. Waka chaka, ooh, ooh, bubba, bubba, yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Word. When last we left Sheep, he was in the clutches of that ridiculously mean meanie General Specific. And speaking of ridiculous, here's the next chapter. Chapter 2. It was many shears ago. I've got you now, Sheep! <laughs> but first I'll turn in the direction you're pointing. What? Get that Sheep! Excuse me. I'm Irv, the accountant for Sheep in the Big City. You know, a lot of money has been spent on those time machines we saw in Chapter 1. So to justify their cost, please use one of the aforementioned time machines as your method of escape. Thank you. And remember to file early. <laughs> We've almost got you now, Sheep! Rats. Oh. Uh, I get a little something extra in my paycheck if I provide the sound effects. That was my idea. Saved us 3.8% this fiscal year. <laughs> wow! Sheep's landed safely in the big city's past, which is somewhere in Greece. And Sheep likes what he sees! Instead of electronic sliding doors, blue skies. Instead of escalators, green grass. And instead of angry, stainless steel, wig-wearing, sheep-hating, dog-owning, pretentious, rich meanies, nice toga-wearing people. People known in history booklets as the Are You Nots. Look, Johnny. Johnny, Johnny, look. Who are you talking to? Are you not Johnny? No, I'm Are You Not Stan? Well, Are You Not Stan? Look, it's the moldy fleece. Um, shouldn't that be golden fleece? What, do I look like I'm made of money? 
And so, Sheep's invited to swim in the Are You Not's pool of loveliness, shade himself under their tree of sweetness, and frolic on their trampoline of winsomeness. Ah! Meanwhile, back where we were. Oh, you must be very careful. This time machine is being very dangerous. You could be catching your pen leg in the chain. Hey! I'm the leader of a secret military organization. I think I can take care of myself. You pedal. Welcome to the most cliched time portal of all. We're in 1970s New Jersey? Not now, private public. But, sir, look. Oh, all right. Holy smokes! They've headed back to prehistoric time and are face to face with the hideous Spisivosaurus Rex! <laughs> yes, General Specific and Private Public were almost a dinosaur dinner. And speaking of dinner, Sheep is enjoying dinner and the show. Not bad, eh? Bring out the dancing centaurs! I said centaurs, those are congressmen. Sorry, our joke writing technology isn't that advanced either. Ah, there they are. Would you like to join them in the happy dance of happy happiness? Ah. Hey, sheep! Where are you going? Boy, oh boy, I sure hope you don't need that time machine again. Say, five or six pages later in the script? And speaking of pages, pages are assistants. And general, specific, and private public sure could use some assistance finding out where in time they are. How's that for a stretch? I wonder what time we've landed in. 1493. Nice watch, private public. Thanks. Yes! They've landed at the precise moment when specific old Columbus reached the shores of the big city! I claim this land for myself! Er, uh, I mean uh, for all the people who uh, talk funny. My plan is to find a one sheep, then I go. I'm in, I'm out. Uh, wait, just a one minute, sir. Oh, what the heck are you guys doing here? We're looking for a sheep! That's what I said I'm doing here. I'm gonna make you uh, get out of here. Oh, yeah? You and what army? My army! Of course! Ah! Yowza! General Specific oh, barely escaped being caught. And speaking of caught, Jeep is caught, caught in a web of happiness. Are you happy, Moldy Fleece? Ah! Oh, good, cause Lady Medusington likes her sacrifices to be happy before they are sacrificed. Sacrifice? Huh? What sacrifice? And who's Lady Medusington? That's Lady Medusington. She has terrible eyes of brimstone and a wig full of angry bunnies. One look from her can turn a man to scone. Hi, Lady Medusington. Ah! A buttery high-fat scone! Will she be sacrificed to the horrible Lady Medusington? Will General Specific ever reach the right time period? Question mark. And will I ever be looked at again with the respect I deserve after narrating this ridiculous episode? <sighs> Find out in Chapter 3, Turning the Flock Ahead! Looking for a night of original theater? Look no further than the Anvil Repertory Ensemble Troop Players Group. We've got it all. Shakespearean tragedy! Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? It is the East, and Juliet is the... <laughs> High Flyin' Musical Comedy! No! And despite popular demand, we're featuring our first interactive production, yeah. where you're part of the show! Yeah. 
So join us this season at the Anvil Repertory Ensemble Troop Players Group. It'll be smashing! <laughs> now that's drama! I... I am Genghis Khan! You may not know, but I was not always a hardly feared, conquering emperor! <laughs> yes, that is right. I started off selling popcorn at movie theaters! One popcorn, please. You cannot have any popcorn! It is my popcorn! I have conquered the popcorn! I have conquered the salt! I have even conquered the imitation butter-flavored oil! I have got... Genghis, you're fired! Oh. Then I tried my hand at the shoe business. I'll take this in a seven and a half. They are my shoes! I have conquered them! I have conquered the bumps! I have conquered the loafers! The open toe sandals, well, they have partial autonomy. But the sneakers! Genghis, you're fired. Oh! I was lost. That is, until I had a meeting with Mirna, my guidance counselor. So, you seem to like conquering things, Genghis. You are right! I do! Lord, 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 Lord! And thanks to Myrna, I became a conquering emperor and conquered the Eurasian steppes! You are conquered, steps! Consider yourself conquered! You step over here, conquered! Conquer that one! That one's conquered! You are conquered! I got you all! You're all mine! And that's one to grow on! <laughs> Jeepers! When we last saw Sheep, he was about to be sacrificed to Lady Medusingdom. Can our hero escape? Only time will tell. Chapter 3. Turning the Flock Ahead. <laughs> now that's something you don't see every day. A sheep being attacked by a wig full of angry bunnies. Meanwhile, back with General Specific. It has been proclaimed that whoever pulls out this sword will be the King of England. Next. I did it! I'm the King of England! Um, okay, buddy. Good for you. Now just put it back and step away from the stone. But I'm the King of England! Sure you are, pal. But let's move along now. How dare you speak to your king that way! I'm the leader of a secret military organization searching for a sheep. I traveled from the future in a time machine, and now I'm the King of England! Bow to me, your king! Security, we got another one. Ah! This is no way to treat a king! I'm your king! Your king! Your sovereign ruler! I knew we shouldn't put one of these sword in the stone thingies in the Renaissance Festival. Meanwhile, back with sheep. Nice save, sheep. Nice and vitamin fortified. You ruined my angry bunnies. <laughs> If only he had the technological advantage of a computer, he could email someone for help. Oh, wait, the sheep doesn't like technology. If only he had the technological advantage of a telephone, he could call someone for help. Or even a telegraph machine, he could morse code someone for help. But technology brings him nothing but bad luck. Hey, sheep's having bad luck right now. It's not technology, it's sheep! Nah. Think about it! Nah. Poor sheep! Too bad you've smashed your time machine to smithereenies! Sheep's only means of escape destroyed by his own hooves! Oh, the poor guy's doomed! It just breaks your heart, doesn't it? This is the end! The end of sheep! The end of my job! Oh no! Uh, Habawa? He fixed it! He survived! My pension is safe! Hurrah! <laughs> there you are! You nasty sheep! So, sheep has learned a valuable lesson. Technology may not be perfect, but it sure beats a wig full of angry bunnies. And I think that's a lesson we all could do well to remember. <laughs>
And now, a quiet moment of introspection from the ranting Swede. I tell you one thing that scrambles my eggs, but good. Answering machines. I got one just the other day, and I hooked it up just like this ad in the instructions, and then I said, hey, answering machine, you like my new pants? And it just sat there. And I said, well, will I ever find love? And it just sat there. And I said, well, maybe an easier question. What's the best automobile for someone in my price range? And it just sat there. Now that's not an answering machine. That's a just sitting there machine. Ah, uh, rantings to live by. Thank you, ranting Swede. time travel, I'm gonna get in this spaceship and fly to an alien planet to find a sheep for my ray gun. Ah, there's a sheep! What is this? Some kind of crazy sheep? Planet of the sheep? Oh no! It's Earth in the future! Darn you! Darn you all the 